goal of us to write a Python program to find NCF or GCD. Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. My name is Ayushi Jain and in this video we will learn how to write a program that will allow us to find the HCF or a GCD of a number. So if we have two given numbers and we need to find the highest common factor or a greater common divisor, both the things over here are same things only. So HCF and GCD are the same things. HCF over here stands for highest common factor and GCD over here stands for greatest common divisor. So both the things are over here same. So we will be finding a HCF or a GCD of a number. First of all, let's understand the logic that how an HCF or a GCD is found of a number and then we will be putting it inside our Python program. So HCF or it looks like E. So we'll, I'll write it all over again. HCF or GCD over here. Now HCF and GCD both are the same things over here. Suppose if I have two numbers, let's say I have 12. I need to find the highest common factor of both of them. So what I will do if I'll write 12 over here and comma 15 over here. A uh, number that divides both of them are. Um, so let's say we have the highest number that divides both of them. So we know 3 is the highest number that divides both of them. So we will be writing 3 and it comes 4 over here and here for it, it comes 5. Right. So I'll take the example of GCD and HCF both are the same things over here. First of all, suppose if I would have written 24 and here I would have written 18. I want to find the HCF of both the numbers. So how to find it is I'll be putting over here in this way that I'll be writing the highest number that is divisible by both of them. So 2 is there, uh, 4, no, 5, no, 6, 6 is there, yes. After 6, is there any number that divides both of them? 9 divides 18, but 9 doesn't come in the table. Uh, so, 24 doesn't come in a table of 9. And then we have 12. 24 comes in a table of 12, but 18 does not come. So, 6 is the highest common factor over here. So, we'll be dividing by 6. And the value that we will obtain over here would be 4 over here and 3 over here. So, in this way, what we will be obtaining, the highest common factor for both of them is 6 over here, right? Now, what do we need to do? We need to find the highest common factor that is there by by python for finding it by python what do we need to do we need to first check for the condition suppose we have been given these two numbers 24 and 12 now this can be the user input as well so we need to find out which number is smaller so whatever number is smaller we will iterate till that range suppose the 12 is smaller over here right so we will be iterating that for i in range and the range would start from 1 to goes up to smaller plus 1 because the smaller number, whatever the smaller number is, that would also be getting counted over here. That will also get counted over here. So for i in range 1 to smaller, that means we'll iterate from 1 to 12. And we will check over here that if this number, suppose we are talking about 12, the smaller number is 12. So 12 when divided by i gives the remainder 0. And same this 12 when divided and again the same 24 when divided by i gives us the remainder 0. In that condition, it will get stored, whatever the number is, that will get stored inside our HCF. And lastly, what, what will happen, whatever is the greatest number, that will conclude over here. That means that will satisfy both the conditions over here. So, it will check for 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, and then 6. So, 2 will get stored over here. Then it will check for 3, so it will remove the 2 and 3 will be getting stored over here inside the HCF. Now, then 3 will be removed and... 6 will get stored inside the HCF. So this is how different numbers will get stored inside the HCF and whatever is the last number that will be stored inside the HCF that is that is going to be our highest common factor. So this is how we will be finding the highest common factor. So let's put this logic inside our program that first of all we need a function that we will be writing a function find HCF or we can also write GCD. And we'll be passing variables over here. So x comma y, these are the two variables that we will be needing. Okay, now we need to give a condition over here that if x is greater than y, in that case, we will store it inside a variable called as smaller. So smaller is equals to x, sorry, smaller is equals to y, else smaller is equals to x over here. Right, now whatever our smaller value is, we will be iterating till that value. So for that, we'll be writing for i in range so range will start from 1 and it will go up to smaller plus 1 so whatever our smaller value is plus 1 to it so that we'll obtain our smaller value exactly over here and we need to check that if x when divided by i gives the remainder 0 and 
y when divided by i gives the remainder 0. So here i is the range from 1 to smaller numbers and here x and y are the numbers that we are going to provide later. An AND operator is used over here to make sure that it satisfies both the condition over here. So in that case what we will be doing, we will be creating a variable called as hcf inside that we will be storing i and lastly we will return the value of i. So this return i will come in the identification with the for loop and here we will print the value or the hcf return not, we don't have to return i, we have to return hcf over here and the value of hcf of the given or we can just write the hcf of the given two numbers is and we'll call this function so our function would be find hcf with the two values let's say we'll be giving 12 and 36 okay here i have written hfc and here i have written HF hcf so let's make it hcf uh, as well over here now let's run and see what output we will get so the hcf of the given two numbers is 12 over here that means uh, the hcf of 12 and 36 is 12 while at the same time if i would have written 24 the hcf would have been 6 over here no actually so if i take any other numbers over here for example if i take 18 comma 24 which we took as an example then the value that we will obtain over here will be 6 so we'll get the hcf 6 over here similarly you can change the numbers and get the hcf of any number in this way first of all simple method over here guys that first of all we have to create a function a function to find hcf and we will be giving a condition that which number is greater over here so if x is greater then we'll keep y as a smaller number and if uh, y is greater then we'll keep x as a smaller number then we will be iterating in a range from i to up to the smaller number and we will be checking for the condition that if our smaller number or if our x both the numbers we'll be checking it for both the numbers basically that if our numbers when divided by i gives the remainder 0 for both of them the condition should satisfy both of them then we will obtain that number inside the hcf every after every iteration whatever the value is there which satisfies this condition will get stored inside the hcf lastly we will return this hcf and print this statement and print this statement by calling the function along with the values so i hope guys that you guys have no doubts in the questions and for more such interesting programs stay connected guys thank you